Welcome everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a font look just like the one that they used for the StarCraft logo for the game StarCraft 2. You can easily find this by just googling you know, StarCraft 2 image, image StarCraft 2 cover, it should pull up that style of font. Now, what we're working with here today is a small 157 pixel wide by 720 pixel tall strip. Now why did we pick these dimensions? Well because what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating an overlay for one side of a video game overlay. And where you, this dimension was created specifically because it's one side of a standard 720p video but this is just, it's, if you use, use a 4x3 window in the middle of it, you have this much space on either side. So you have a little over 400 extra pixels on either side. So this is what we're going to be doing for that. Start off, you need to use the included, well not included, you're going to use the linked font, which called StarCraft. Plain and simple. Now then, you're going to want to create a text line all the way down the page. And just type out, what's going to go with StarCraft for now. It's not going to look right because we need to warp the text. We're going to make it a flag, but we're going to make it vertical. If we reduce the bend, that still doesn't work. So what's the fix to this? Well, it's annoying, but you just hit enter after every letter. It's not the cleanest application, but it gets the job done. The reason we're going to go with a, we're still going to go with a wrap, and that's just because it makes it look a little more interesting, a little different, not something you see every day. A fish one is not a good one to go with, so we're just going to go with the standard flag. We are going to make it not bend near as much. That looks good. And we're going to go ahead and increase the font size to, let's go with 14. And let's move this down try and center it some. So right about there. So now that you've got your font there, what do you do from this point? Well, since we already have the background set to transparent, next step is to go into the blending options. This is where most of the work actually takes place. So we go to blending options. As that pulls up on my other monitor. Now, I've created a style for this but we're going to start from scratch here. It's going to involve a lot of work. <laughs> Just let you know. First, we use drop shadow. Make sure it's set to multiply and we are using a complete black which means RGB values are completely set to zero or it's using hex uh, 0000000. We're going to set the angle to 90 degrees We're going to have a distance of 3 pixels, a 34% spread, and a size of 12. You can enter the number as well, which is probably going to be easier in this case. Next, we move on to inner shadow. This one, we use linear light. We have a special color we're using. For this one we use 081851. It's easier to do this by hex because it's always going to be the same. And it's a nice easy number. 75 opacity still. 90 degree angle. Global lighting. Perfect. A distance of 4 pixels. No choke. And a size of 8 pixels. 
Next is inner glow. And this should actually be white. 255, 255, 255, or FFF, FFF. Starting to come together. So we use 75% opacity. I'm sorry, 100% opacity. 15% noise. It uses softer on the edge. 60% choke. Add two pixel size. Bevel and emboss. We need to use inner bevel, but we don't want to smooth it. We want to chisel it hard. At a thousand percent depth. We want it to scale up. It's only going to be five pixels in size. No softening. We use the 90 degree global light, but we change the altitude to 25. We use linear dodge add here. 75% opacity, but we use the color FE9B0F. It should be an orange color, and that's the one we want. It starts, we're starting to get the look we want. It's not quite there. Next one should be Vivid Light. And this one is going to be using the color 6193A7. We're almost done. So now it looks more like that color, but it doesn't quite have the right shading. It doesn't look quite right. It's because we use a satin on it. It is multiply. We set the color here 142C4E. It should be a very dark blue. We use a, it's actually at 70% opacity, not 50. The angle we changed to 19 degrees, so as it is here. Six pixel distance. Eight pixel size. I actually almost forgot. We do use the contour, but it's just as it is here. We do not change anything here. So then the last thing we do is actually a pattern overlay pattern we're going to use is gravel, but we use the hard light. We scale this down to 43%. So if we look at it, it looks just like that color. Okay, it doesn't quite want to zoom out, so we're going to have to go up here and zoom out. Now then, when playing with it, the color of the font is supposed to be white. This is important and should have been stated earlier. And now, everything looks very close. You can't quite get it right, and it looks a little odd on a background, on a transparent background. Uh, but feel free to play around with the color settings for the font there. This is obviously white. I, the black one wasn't as great. Red kind of leaves it an interesting color. And you can change the font color around just so that you can have different effects with different the same font and have it look completely different. You can have one on one side be one color, one on the other side be a completely different one. If you want to use this as a template, I've go ahead, gone ahead and provided you with a start file. When you've completely finished and gotten to this point, or actually, you know, actually we're going to go change this to, we're going to try 16 point. Yep, and that fits much better. So we're going to pull that up, snaps to the top there. Looks great. We're going to just go ahead and stay with the standard white color for this one. But I was just showing it as an example. So use white. Looks right. So you're going to want to save this as StarCraft 2 font end. So just change start to end. 
And then if we wanted to do it on the other side, for the other side, the easiest way to do it is you edit the text again, go into the text wrap. We're at minus 30. Let's go to regular 30. Now wraps the other way, and we'll save this one as SC font end 2. Maximize compatibility always. If you do do this in a different style, you want to make sure that it's running in RGB color, H its channel. If you choose to do it outside of this pre created little option here. Now, for those of you wondering, if you want to do it multiple times and don't want to go through that hassle a lot, if you go to blending options, new style, Name this whatever you want. I use SD2 font, all one word. So then you can come over here and you can get a bunch of different effects. That one's using not as not quite as close. This one's much better. But it's just the same style. I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the tutorial, if it helped you out and how to do this. If you understand a better idea of it. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.